Now, this is part two of cleaning. Basically, I think the guy that was recording probably turned my phone sideways, and I'm pretty sure it's not going to come out right. But let me go over a few things. <clears throat> the first thing I did was I took all my electrical areas, and I used cheap food wrap, saran wrap. And in doing so, I made sure that I recorded every, uh, covered everything. This is my computer module. Okay, I don't definitely don't want those wires to get wet. Older cars have distributors, new ones do not. Everything is electronic. So what I did was I covered that up three times to make sure that I cover everything, even a connection to my to my alternator. Now right here is my fan belt. Just got a brand new fan belt about a year ago. And I don't want to go through that again. So I made sure I covered that electrical. That's for my fan bell. Here. Hey, Flake, how you doing, girl? Nosy cat. Anyway, I also covered my terminals, just to make sure. Over here is another computer. Right here is the relay for them to test my vehicle. I definitely don't want to get that wet inside the terminals. Now, by being very careful, you want to make sure that none of these major electrical components are getting moisture in it, uh, whatever it may be. This is fine. That's just my reservoir for my um, for the windshield wiper. But basically, I got a brand new alternator, brand new thermostat, brand new radiator, my air compressor. Uh, my throttle body has been replaced, everything. Um, my air filter, which is cumbersome, changing it out. So I went with a K&N air filter. Even though my mechanic told me not to, I still want a, a little. So everything's been replaced. Now it's time to clean up all the gunk that was on here. And in doing so, you want to make sure that these connectors later on, when you unwrap them, you can clean those individually. That takes a little time, but I want to make sure I get all the oil off. I had oil on my dipsticks. I had on my transmission. It was all over here. That's brand new. I just got an oil change. That's a brand new Fram air filter. What? I mean, um, oil filter. So I got the everything just about done. So now I can see clearly at my engine. So this phase, everything, like I said, brakes have been done, everything. So I hope this can help some people out because like I say, a dirty engine is a nasty engine. You can't really see anything and it gives you peace of mind. So basically I can see a lot better on this engine. Um, even my motor mounts are clean, okay? I am not a mechanic. I am a person that likes everything meticulous, organized and clean. That's just me. So basically, when I finish, never, ever wash this with a pressure washer put degreaser. This would be soapy water if, if I did do it, and then lay down and wipe it off with uh, Lysol wipes, to be honest with you. But the stuff that I spray is some cheap stuff called Awesome. It is awesome. But here's the deal. The dollar stuff is better for an engine than using something corrosive like grease lightning. Because really with the greaser, it's best to um, dilute it 50-50. And then if you have a problem cleaning like this one little area, I loosen up the grime. I would go back over that one section. It's no use of me going back doing the whole engine. So my next step would be phase three. Phase three would be to come back over it and air dry it with a blower. And I have several different blowers. I have commercial ones, but I want something low power. So what we're gonna do is, and uh, something that's not cumbersome, I'm going to use my Kirby vacuum. I'm gonna use it as a blower to get rid of all of the water and moisture that's on the engine, you see? So I will go over this. And I wanna go over it as much as I can to get all of the water out to make sure there's no moisture. Then you crank up your vehicle and you'll know where you're going. Okay, let it warm up. Okay, thank you. Cooking, uh, home ideas, cooking, cleaning, and etc.